lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing my book haul for December 2016 to January 2017. I didn't really spend a lot of money because, you know, like, Christmas happened. First up, I have a book that I won as part of a Goodreads giveaway, which is this Millennium Falcon book and model kit. This is the model, it slides off, it's really cool. And then we're left with this book about the Millennium Falcon and all this information about it and, like, stats and famous stuff that happened with it. Um, and lots of pictures from the series, which I love. It goes through A uh, Force Awakens, too, so that's cool. Um, I love it. It's also suggestions for decorating your Millennium Falcon model. I'm a little intimidated to make this model. I feel like I'm going to mess it up. Um, it does not need glue to make it. And it's got a 3 out of 4 stars on skill level difficulty. Um... But I'm, like, excited to try this. Um, my plan is to make a video where I actually build this, but, like, I need a time when I've got enough patience to, like, go through and decorate this and decide what I'm going to decorate it with. So. But I'm excited. Also, this book came on the day that Carrie Fisher died, so I was really... I needed this book at that time, too. I like it. I'm a nerd. Total nerd. Okay. Books that I actually spent money on. <laughs> First up, I have Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shutterly. This is the book that the movie is based off of, and it covers three decades worth of history from the 1940s to the 1960s, from World War II to the moon landing. And I am currently reading it. I am really loving this book. It focuses on these African-American female mathematicians who worked for NACA slash NASA, um, and, like, there's a lot covered in here, but it does a good job of balancing everything from the technical stuff of, like, what they're actually doing with the airplanes and spaceships to their, like, lives and, like, families. So the women it focuses mainly on are Dorothy Vaughn, who is the first African-American female uh, supervisor at NAS NACA, um, which became NASA, which is really cool. Then we have Katherine Johnson, Katherine Goebel Johnson, who is this really important mathematician who did a lot of the work for um, the Mercury and Apollo flights. And, like, John Glenn trusted her so much that he would not go up um, into space unless her math, she was sure of the math because he didn't trust the computers, which is cool. Like, she is freaking awesome. And then we also have Mary Jackson who is NASA's first African-American female engineer. Um, it's just really cool. They all worked at Langley Institute in Virginia, which is where the author's from. And it also deals a lot with the racism in the South, in Virginia, you know, leading up through the Civil Rights Movement, um, and what it meant to these women, and, like, the importance of science and education. Um, there's a lot happening in here. I really, really love this book. Definitely you guys should read it. Um, there's also a Young Readers Edition that if you're freaked out by the math and stuff, apparently that has less of, like, technical stuff in it. Um, I love it. I also really love the movie. You guys, go see the movie. Like, I love this book a lot. Like, a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, I have Frogs and Kisses by Shauna Swenson. This is the eighth Enchanted Ink book, um, which is really awesome because she was done with the Enchanted Ink series, like, twice already, and then she came out with another book, and it's like a bonus sweetness. In this book, Katie Chandler goes undercover and investigates this magical mafia, and they have, like, this main company and have, like, their fingers and all the different pies. I love her doing the spy stuff. Um, and we also see her relationship with Owen as he's, like, freaking out as she's in, like, incredible danger. Related to that, we also have a short story from the Enchanted Ink series called Paint the Town Red. And this one focuses on Sam, the security gargoyle, and it's this, uh, like, film noir crime story as he's investigating all these red caps across New York who are committing all these murders, and I love it terribly. Also, I have on ebook We Awaken by Calista Lynn, and I forgot the premise of this book. Um, I know it's a asexual love story, which was interesting to me. I need to read more diverse books and haven't really read anything that deals with asexual romance. 
Next up, I have three books that my sister dumped on me because she's trying to be minimalist. Um, and I may or may not keep these books, but for the moment I am, and we'll see. Okay, the first book is Aragon by Christopher Poloni. I can't pronounce his name. Um, this one is about a young boy who finds a dragon and like becomes a dragon rider. Um, I remember I tried to read this book once and did not like it that much. Like I love the movie and then the book was disappointing. Um, which is strange because I know most people like, like the book more than the movie. I'm the opposite. Next up I have Faith by Jennifer Hay and this one follows an Irish American Catholic family. One of the members of the family is a priest who gets caught up in the scandal and kind of what it does to the family, I think, because I haven't actually read it yet. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I'll get to it. If you guys have read this book and either liked it or hate it, let me know so I have an idea whether or not to keep it and read it. It sounds interesting enough that I'm going to hold on to it though. Next up I have Crimes of the Heart by Beth Henley. This is a play that focuses on these three sisters and one of them gets into trouble and has to be bailed out of jail and there's a lawyer and stuff involved. Um, who may or may not fall in love with him, her, I guess. Um, it's not interesting enough to keep it. Again, if you guys have read this book, let me know whether you liked it or hate it so I can decide. For Christmas this year, I got Harry Potter's Magical Creatures Coloring Book, which I am super excited about. I was kind of disappointed at the first Fantastic Beasts book that came out that didn't have Fantastic Beasts in it. Like, Eddie Raymond is cool and all, but um, I like, look, the beasts and the creatures. That one's just a cat that's probably less exciting. Um, I've only done this page so far, which is all these dragons, but I love it. it. Took me seven hours to do this, by the way, while I was listening to the audiobook for the graveyard book. Um, but I think it was totally worth it. I am excited to color in like this Whopping Willow and Lupin is a werewolf, you know. Love it. Some people are saying they're freaked out to color in these and they're afraid that they're going to like mess it up and it used to be exactly like the same as the movie and I'm kind of feeling that actually, which is why I did the page that's kind of generic. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully I'll do them. I hope I do. And the last book I have is this inspirational coloring book, which I just got at Five Below, which is a dollar store around here. Um, and it has inspirational quotes from different authors um and like these designs to color in i've done this page i had to cut it out though because it was driving me crazy where i try to like do the edge and like it wouldn't go all the way um so i like the selection of quotes and the different designs there's one with an emily dickinson quote on the back this is probably not a great way to show you this book um but i'm intrigued by it and interested in it so and maybe I'll have some inspiring things to put on my wall. We'll see. That I have bookish gifts that I got for Christmas, so I have to show them off. One is this uh, picture frame that my sister made me, and it has the TARDIS and all these books, and I love it. I simply love it. She did it all herself, which is awesome. So, I was so excited to have this. Um, it's pretty. Maybe one day I'll meet one of the actors from Doctor Who and I can put a picture of me and that actor in here. Or one of the authors, people who work on the, the show, that would be cool. But I think it's so pretty. So pretty. From one of my other sisters, the one who dropped off all those books. Um, I got this doll, which is this little, um, this bookworm here with these cat ears on and her book with a pirate skull on it which I think is awesome so she's either reading about poisons or pirates either way she's freaking amazing her glasses and everything can you guys see that that's awesome it also came with this pen that says I heart books and the company that made the doll which is called Mama G I guess um I think the doll's Clarice or something um but they came together and I'm like excited she's been sitting back there in my bookcase in case you guys haven't noticed she's sweet And then I also got the Bellatrix Lestrange um, Funko Pop vinyl, which is cool. Uh, so yay for my Christmas presents. I didn't get any strict books from Christmas, but I did get some bookish things. I feel like I missed something that I got those two months too. 
So if anybody gave me anything and I forgot about it, I'm sorry. Another thing that I got myself um, were these coloring bookmarks. So you color them in. One of them is William Shakespeare which is pretty cool. And the other one I got was Alice in Wonderland. Got these at Target. They're really cool. So like, there's all these Shakespearean quotes and you pull them apart and like these designs. I'm excited to do these. A little intimidated, not gonna lie. I also got ones for Alice in Wonderland that I've kind of torn apart already. Um, but that's so, so exciting, so cool. Especially the Alice in Wonderlands, which are based on like the original art. Um, so the, that's the company that made these. But yeah, if you guys want to look for them. So I'm excited to do these. But also a little freaked out that I'm going to mess them up, honestly. Yeah. So there's all the books and bookish things that I've gotten the last two months. Um, if you have read any of these books and either loved or hate them, let me know. Or if you own any of this stuff, whether or not you're loving or hating it. Is there anything in here that you're super jealous that I have? Because obviously that's a thing too. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, basically, yeah. I like to show off my stuff, can I say? Um, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.